uh, hello i'm tenya directone from shareability uganda e-learning i'm going to take you through graphics design again uh, our topic today is how to clean a scan how to clean how to clean all this candy document in photoshop uh, one of our fellow requested for such a video in our graphics group uh, class whatsapp group class so uh, i took it on and i decided to make this video for our fellow and i know it will still help uh, even we others um, i know one person requested for it but uh, we are many that need this so uh, you can check our website www.chability.net uh, you can also drop me on your uh, a message on whatsapp 0753 so that i can add you to our group whatsapp group uh, you can also email us uh, at email at e-learning e-learning at shareability.net so that we can engage more so let us go for our video let us start right away so uh here is our photoshop and uh, i'm going to fetch my document um that we are going to clean i'll come to file and open yes here is our document uh, it is loading and i think i think that it is i think it was it was uh, uh, it was it they poured some liquid uh, into it that made it like that so i'll drag and move it around so that i consolidate the document then i'll come to layers and i double click on the padlock i say okay i remove the padlock because if it is on it will not enable me to to edit the document so uh where i'm going i'm going what i'm going to start with uh i'm going to uh, so i'm going to come to image i come to add adjustments oh no 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 i come to image and then mode then i'll come this side and uh, this side i'm having a, a lot of uh, color schemes here rgb color cm yk color this is scion mag magenta uh yellow black then this one is uh red green blue color so i'll come for i'll come for grayscale and i'll click on grayscale uh, then they will tell me this card discard color information then i'll say okay so read our document has changed a bit you see i think you can view it so you shall you see we shall continue on uh, so at that step uh, after putting in that gray gray scale uh, i'll come back onto our image then i come to adjustments and i'll come for levels uh, when i get to levels uh, i'll come here uh, this one is for here we copy we take samples uh, this is this pen is for sample in image two 
sample in image to set white point you see this one when when i take this it takes white sample uh, to the image then this one takes black sample to to the image so i'll just click on the on this one then uh i will come to where i want to change and if i just left click there then uh, it will change a little bit my document then i'll click ok you see you see that it has changed uh, my next step uh, would be uh, i'm going to take on this i'm going to use a pen tool uh, so that i can I can make I can hold this the whole of this I just want to hold the whole of this because this is the baddest uh, that that we have that we have in this document so that, that which we want to do away with so I'll come to uh, I'll come to selection if I go to selection, I click OK. Then uh, I'll, I'll get this. Uh, so after that, I'll get back here to adjustments. Then I will come to brightness. Brightness and contrast. So I'll try to move this contrast to 10. Then I'll also try to move this brightness to 10 also. I can even just type it without even moving. You see, it is changing a little bit the way it was. You see, if I'm to say cancel. And I, I just want you guys to see the change that will be coming a little bit. So here, if I put here 10, then I put here 10, then I click OK. Then, uh, let me first come back here. Yes, I. It is being held. Uh, then I'll come back to adjustments. Then I'll do the same thing again. Uh, why am I doing it uh, slow like this? Uh, like many times, because I don't want it to make this other words faint. Uh, I don't want it to spoil this other side of the document. That is why I'm doing it over and over so that it keeps on removing this that we don't want at a slow pace. Because if I just uh, move uh, my brightness here to the end, uh, it will not uh, do what we want. So still I'll put it at 10 and even this at 10. So I'll click OK. I don't know whether you are seeing any change, but you'll see it. Then I'll do it again, still at 10, and here at 10. You see? Uh, then, OK, I'll do it again. Let me put it at 14. Uh, even here, 14. So uh, this uh, keeps us uh, this increasing the brightness and increasing the contrast 
uh, moving both of them at at the same uh, measurement the, it keeps us uh, on on the track so that this document this part of the document that we have here is not uh, damaged uh, we remain with the same document uh, with same uh, with the same color and uh, with the same uh, document that is and it is not spoiled so with this other part and the document will be matching and looking the same so that is why i'm keeping on moving both of them i can't move one uh, so i'll click ok and i'll come back i'll come back here you just keep on continuing like that until you get uh, good results you see and i'm putting it at 12 at all levels at both and then i think uh, this other side is a little bit okay then i'll press Mm, I have pressed Ctrl D, this selection. Uh, then I'll take this part here. Then I'll come to select. Selection. Then I click OK. So uh, I think... Here, there is no need of uh, continuing. So, uh, I'll continue with this and come back here. Adjustments, brightness. Then I'll put it at 10. Even this side at 10. then i do it so uh that is our document that is our document so when i press uh control d deselect uh so here we go uh, now I have to remove uh, these these little ones that have remained. Uh, let me try to use this spot healing, but spot healing tool. This is a spot healing brush that I'm using here. You get so it is. Hello, pink. You see, like that. So I'll try to slope down. You see so it is it is changing it is changing then uh, I'll try also to use this part patch tool just like this I copy a sample here I bring it here like this, like this, control D, deselect, or, or if you can also use, uh, you can also use this clone stamp, 
by by choosing sample here and bringing it here you see how it changes you come back this side and you you press shift, you press alter so that it brings that other tool then you click or tap on your touchpad or on your mouse uh, if it is your mouse then you click then you just move it around yeah then you come back where you are getting your sample like that then still you copy the sample still get back like that so that is our document that is our document we have tried to put away all the data things that was making it uh, a data document so that is our document but um, we are going also to uh, come here on sharpen and we shall slope here and sharpen mask and sharp and sharp mask so that we can uh, if, if you put on this preview, you see, the document is uh, a little bit faint, but if it is on, then uh, you, you have some more color into the document, so that it doesn't look uh, much faint and all that. So... So let me let me let me so let me save the document. Uh, we shall share it into our WhatsApp group. Uh, let me call it uh, faded faded document. Uh, I'll save it as uh, JPEG and. I'll say save. I'll say click. Okay. So I just want us to compare the first one and the second one. So I'll bring it. I'll bring in this. I'll open this no it is not accepting to come uh, then I'll choose a portrait a photo then I want portrait this Then I'll move this. Just uh, move, just move it, and you'll get uh, a consolidated document. Then I'll choose this one. So I just want to bring this one here to move this document here. Bring it here. So I'll try to reduce it a bit, reduce it a bit. So I'll move it this other side. 
Then now click OK. Open. I want this. Oh, but because of the same uh, document and content, it is failing to come. Even though the names are the same, it is failing to come. So, oh. I get, I get, I get, I get. Let us first go here. Then uh, we first change our document here. Oh, this one is supposed to be faded. This is, I think it is like that, faded. This one here. Faded. So, uh, I'll get it here open I get this then I'll move it around then I'll double click on the padlock and I say ok then I'll bring it here So I just want us to see the difference. Like that so I'm done I'll call it compare I'll call it compare and I will save it as a JPEG then I'll say save and there is our document and uh, I think you can see a difference and you you can learn from this can learn from this so there are our two documents i think you can uh, look out and uh, see which is better uh, thank you thank you for watching my video hope we learn uh, hope we learn together you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Shareability Uganda eLearning. Uh, you can also check out on my playlist, this other side. Uh, and check out on the videos that you have been missing. You can, you can drop me uh, a message on my WhatsApp number 0753444433. So that uh, we can engage more and... Uh, how, get the knowledge together as as a community uh, you can also email us on elearning at shareability.net thank you thank you for watching i love you all